This is a quick video to show you how to use the Zoom web conferencing tool. You'll need to go ahead and sign up for a free account. I'm going to sign in since I already have one. Log in with your Google account. Under the free account, you get up to 100 participants in a meeting and your meeting can last 40 minutes. It does say you get an unlimited number of meetings. So once you get in here, you click on schedule a new meeting. Scroll down, make sure you're choosing a time after the time frame that you're in right now. You can change the date, you can change the hour, you can change the time zone. I would go down and turn on host video conferencing and participants so you can see video for everyone. And then I would go down and click mute participants upon entry. This way you can tell them how to unmute themselves instead of everyone coming in talking and then trying to get them to mute themselves. Then click Save. In this screen here, this is the link that you would share with students. If they're on an iPad in the app, they just need the last digits of that. You can select Start Meeting. The first time it will have you download the Zoom app. You can go ahead and open Zoom. It'll open in a new application on your computer. Then you can join with computer audio. Hello. And down here is where you can pause and close everything. I'm going to, have, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video for a second. You can also select mute here to mute your voice. You can invite more participants here if you need to. This manage participants will bring up a list of who is there if you can't see everyone on one screen. And you can close that. You can share your screen if you have something to send to students in that you need they need to see your screen for. You can chat here. This is nice. You could have students kind of type in their name if they have questions, and then you can use that to see who's going to speak next so they're not all speaking at the same time. You can hit record, and then there's little reaction emojis here that you can add. Next to the video button, there is the option to choose a virtual background. On my computer, that was not working, but it did work on the iPad. So if you wanted to choose a different background, you could do that. Then you select end meeting when everyone is finished. That is all.